Hi everyone, it's me, I'm Zentu Kisik here once again and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make your own color correction in After Effects. So instead of teaching you guys, you know, how to make your own color correction by explaining what is the purpose of every, you know, color correction effect, it's already a lot on YouTube. Instead of that, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make your own CC by remaking all the editor CC and I'm gonna be, you know, adding some different techniques to quick tips to make your edit looking better so now let's get right into the tutorial so here on the screen right now opening after effects and we're gonna be trying to remake vixper cc first so to do that first of all of course we're gonna be create a new adjustment layer and here as you can see it's have the black border on top so i'm just gonna create that i'm just not gonna you know the teach you guys way too much about this because this tutorial is, is not about black bar so here we go now go to the adjustment layer. The first thing that we're gonna add is we're gonna add curve. So why do we need to add curve? We're just gonna leave it there. And then we're gonna add look. Put two of this effect together and click on edit. Now we need to be comparing two of this. So I'm just gonna set the look on the side right there to make sure that you guys could see the, you know, the Vixper CC uh, on the right side. I'm kind of tired today. I'm sorry. So the most basic thing here is we're going to click on subject. As you can see, we had a very bright light on the top right over there. As you can see, so we're going to ask Grand Expo or Spot Expo. Legs, as you can see, the contrast of the color is pretty much. So we're going to add contrast into it. Let's we're gonna be see you know the highlight and the shadow. So as you can see, here's the shadow and here is the highlight. So as you can see, it's a little bit bright. So I'm gonna add shadow and highlight as well. So we basically done with this for the lens. As you can see, around this, as you can see, the around the clips, it a little bit have been thin and some it's subless. So to do that, we're gonna add lens been thin and it's subless. Now, looking up to the next thing, we're going to see the color of the hat right there. This one is a little bit dark yellow and this one is dark color orange. <laughs> and look at their, you know, their little pan right there. This one is looking a little bit purple and this one looking blue. And we're going to see some different between, you know, like between two footage so that we're going to know how to change it. So we're going to see the shirt. This one is a little bit orange and this one is completely red. So now to change this one, we have an effect called SLS color, which you can find right there. We're going to put it as SL color. Now we're gonna set the each of them. First of all, we're gonna set the edge subless. For the edge subless, we're gonna put this one in the middle. I just asked you to move that. We're gonna change the blur side to just a little bit. And we're gonna change the side like this. Put it like this. I want blur around like this. And we're gonna put the length in tint up so that it's not gonna be not gonna be getting blurred by the edge subless. So we're gonna add the lens a bit bigger put this like this as well and put the amount up to a hundred and then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to to shadow and highlight put this highlight up a bit maybe six uh 0.6 and the shadow down to minus 0.4 for the contrast we're gonna set this one up just a little bit maybe boy 180 as you can see and the expo comparison we're just gonna put this one maybe boy one and it's looking pretty bright for now so for the grand expo we're just gonna set this one a little bit soft maybe dot four but here i'm gonna use spot expo because i think it's looking better so spot expo is gonna be a round shape and grand is gonna be a long shape right there it's gonna be full down so i'm gonna put this one up like this put this one to dot four and put the spread a bit up, the aspect up a bit, and the full up as well. Put it the full up, and we're gonna put this one down. All right, here we go. So we have been done about you know like making the brightness here. It's a little bit bright. I'm just gonna put the contrast down to boy 80, I guess. Oh no, it's on this boy 
080. Alright, here we go. This one looking better. So now move to its red color. Now we need to compare two of these. So we're gonna look at the shirt right there. As you can see, this one is red, right? And this one is orange. So to do to change the color, we're gonna be looking up at the color that looking similar to the shirt. So this one is orange, so I'm gonna do this between two of this. So we're gonna change the hue and saturation. And as you can see, the shirt color changes. So we're gonna put this one into red, a little bit more red around this, and put the saturation up, the lilacs up as well. Now we're gonna be looking at the heart right there. This one is yellow, this one is orange. So we're gonna go ahead on the yellow tab, and this one is working. So we're gonna put this one down until it's got that corner that's a bit down not really much okay put the saturation down a bit as you can see and put the lilas up or down it's gonna be depend on you anyways so you can change the orange as well if you want to you you know change the hat as you can see we're gonna put this one down a bit the saturation gonna be a bit like this the lilas um we're gonna put this one up and we're gonna go ahead and making this one orange this one put saturation down and here we go we got basically kind of the same color now we're gonna look at the pan this one is blue right we're gonna make it a bit purple so we are just gonna go ahead and change this one as you can see a bit purple and it's have a bit of lilacs put this one up and saturation put it down now we're gonna be move up to the grass around as you can see the grass have a little bit of blue so we're gonna change the hue a bit like this saturation down a bit put the lilacs of this one down as well and we basically done with the ssl color yeah you guys can change your know, mess around with this one as well i'm gonna put the saturation up or maybe down it's gonna be depend on you anyways so yeah so here we go this is before and after so that's basically all about this i'm gonna put this one up uh put this one down all right here we go so next we're gonna hit on the icon right over there now what we're gonna do next here is we're gonna put the curve up and now we're gonna change the curve for this one i'm gonna put this one a bit brighter like this and this one down or maybe put this one down just a little bit like this i guess and we're gonna put this one down all right so now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be looking up at another look layer we need to separate that now we're gonna go to edit so now for this time we're gonna make this one a bit brighter on the side right over there so we're gonna go ahead to subject spot expo put this one like this put this one up a bit around boy three spread up four up a bit and we're gonna put some mm, it's gonna be t pens so we're gonna put some loot right over there loot it basically it's some you know color preset and that and we're gonna be choose some of the color preset that is looking fit you guys can choose um now whatever preset that you want for this i'm gonna use this as you can see it's looking very nice right and the last thing that we're gonna do is go into the post again go to here and saturation put the saturation down just a little bit and we're gonna boost the spot bill i don't really think this right here this but i wanted to use this anyway so spot bill basically is making it looking a bit grayer than it is so put it at 20 and i want to do that as some kind of blue color like this i guess and we're gonna add some diffusion for diffusion we're gonna put this one at the side out a bit just a little bit and the gray down as you can see put this one like this glow down highlight only it's gonna be up about 84 highlight bs it's gonna turn it a bit like this and we're gonna put the expo comparison back to minus 0 0.1 so here it is we got pretty the same effect i mean the same result right now this one chain a little bit and we're gonna put this one up 
um maybe put this one up there it's gonna be deep end <laughs> and anyways so now what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna add some bcc unshop marks to make you know the food end looking better we can access 130 the 23 and sop in so we're just gonna set this one up to about 40 and here we go we got pretty the same effect like whisper so that's basically all about you know whisper you guys can mess around with this if you guys wanted to you know have a better look so now let's get right into something more complex so we're gonna move into the leg cc here i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make the chippy cc night leg graphics kind of like great graphics here is the technique that i'm talking about so we make sure that you are gonna, you know, I really hope you could understand me at this part because I just learned this one a few days ago as well. So, to make lit graphics easy, he's now most of the time he's just using the best pseudo color, which basically is looking like this. I'm just gonna show you guys what is looking like. Oh shit, I forgot. Oh, here, best pseudo color. So, I would at first I would thought that he's using this effect because it's looking pretty nice, his CC, right? It's pretty nice, hit cheap and cheesy. But I finally found out there's another way that you can, you know, recreate it on Market Pullet Look. It's the look effect from Red Jai. If you don't know, have that blocking, you can download in the link right out in the description. So here I'm gonna be teaching you. So here when you're looking up at, you know, like leak graphic at it, as you can see, it's have a crazy amount of red saturation and blue as well. So now we're going to be trying to recreate this in After Effects, of course. Oh my God, why I'm so dumb. <laughs> All right. So go to After Effects. The first thing, of course, we're going to be add some looks into that. But before we add the look, we're going to be sharpen the food a little bit. So to do that, we're going to add PCC on sharp marks and sharpen as always. We're going to put this one at 30. This one as around five if you want to and we're gonna add sharpen so we put sharpen up put this one up about 40 and here we go we got a very nice sharpen now what we're gonna do next here is we're gonna be enable the look effect now we're gonna go into edit so now to recreate this effect right there, first of all, you're gonna look at the edit. As you can see, it's a blue and red. So we're gonna add an effect named Duo Tone for that. So we're gonna add Duo Tones. Wait, is uh, where the fuck is that motherfucker? Wait, uh, oh my god, I'm so dumb to that. All right, here we go. So we got Duo Tone. So here is before and after. So now what we're gonna do is on the highlight, you're gonna look at the highlight to see what is the color. You can see oh shit it's way too fast for me but yeah basically we're just gonna be trying to look at it but it's so fast we're like looking at this all right so whatever we're gonna put the main color in red and blue so we're gonna put this one in red this one in blue and we're gonna add the pollen down for a little bit i'm gonna try a good blue effect around this i guess put the shadow tin up and we're gonna put the red uh, maybe a little bit of orange and now we're gonna be put the red a bit more by using two strip process as you can see when we put this one at 100 it already changed a lot so with the expo configuration maybe i'm just gonna set this one at uh 0 0.1 like this oh i mean one like this all right here we go so now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be go ahead and add some loot into that. So on the subject, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be add the loot, some spot view, some shadow and highlight. So we're gonna put the loot up. We're gonna put something like this. We're gonna put the shadow down a little bit. Put the highlight up to highlight the face. Go to spot view. Set this one at twenty. Or maybe even more. It's gonna be deep in. Put this one a little bit of gray. Oh, I mean, maybe a bit of like this, I guess. And go to loot. We're gonna use the D. What the fuck is this anyway? <laughs> so here is before and after. Now we're gonna go into camera or lens. Oh, <laughs> so on this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this one. We're gonna add the left bleed pillars. 
for this one what we're gonna do is we're gonna be make this one silver retentation a bit like this this one i don't know maybe set this one up like this so we don't really need this one oh god it's getting hard for me now and we're gonna add some on the camera i guess maybe we're gonna add some warm and cool but this one maybe i want to use a kind of the color maybe like this yeah a purple not really yeah about it we're gonna boost the expo combination uh here make the teen around this warm cool but this one just a little bit and we're gonna go over here so here we're gonna use technical led if you want to we're gonna add this on the boy three here the side up and down i'm gonna put this one down to actually sharpen this thing and we're gonna put this one like this all right here it goes so when you done all of this we're gonna add some diffusion if you want to but it's looking bad for now yeah honestly so we're gonna add some sip each shop let's put this one like this and hit v so we got a very cool looking cc like this so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna be add curve into your projects so to do this what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this one down put this one up highlight a little bit just a little bit guys and another curve but this curve what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the red up so instead of curve i think this hue and saturation is not a bad idea for me as the hue and saturation go to red put the red saturation incredibly up as well as blues add it up as well and for the rest of that we're gonna put the yellow a bit down the green of course a bit down and mostly down except cyan cyan mm, down as well i guess yeah just put it down just leave red and blue is good it's good enough and go back to master the light let's down a little bit like this saturation down a bit and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna be go ahead and we're gonna make another thing to actually make this one looking better so best pseudo how about this now i don't really try this one but i mean i have never tried this guy kind of fucking thing in my life but i don't really know yeah maybe this one is bad so here before and after as you can see it's looking a very very good looking effect so yeah that's pretty awful about the tutorial today i really hope you guys are gonna be enjoy it and see you guys on my next tutorial tomorrow. Anyway, give me idea also. I'm out of idea now. So, bye-bye.